I have to say it made a real impact. The world had never seen anything like it. The Dominator became the standard class machine. For me, the Dominator is a complete machine. From the cutter bar through the cab to the threshing equipment. A powerful box of tricks. You can only produce food in the field. And every farmer was trying to make his farm efficient to achieve maximum productivity. Farms got bigger, many farmers gave up. There was only one way, grow or get out. Either make your farm bigger or stop farming. Cooperatives were formed, partly because of family strategy to combine farms, and partly because contractors developed more expertise. There were machinery rings, as they were known, that had several combine harvesters and provided a service to farmers. We needed to keep abreast of the technology. Then, as usual, Mr. Klaas made a fast decision, assembled a team and created Project 12. The main task at the time was to build a machine that was capable of working in maize. We really wanted a multi-crop machine. The Dominator needed to be more powerful than the original SF. We took the experience we'd gained previously, incorporated it into this project and converted it into practice. And I have to say it was a complete success, the birth of the Dominator family. The special feature of the Dominator was simply its size, because a combine harvester on this scale had never been seen before. The machine was a real money earner. All combine harvesters had to meet certain standards, the width specified by the road traffic regulations. Combines can't be more than three meters wide or four meters high. Everything has to be packed into this box three by four meters. We made compromises. We made it more efficient, more powerful, stronger. Big farms needed higher performance and higher throughputs. And so a top model was also added, the multi-drum system by Helmut Klaas. Eight drums instead of straw walkers. This gave significantly higher performance. And anybody in the village who had a dominator was a real celebrity at the local pub. Even today, over 40 years later, there's still a dominator in the full-class product family. That's unique in the world. And you can only achieve these results by sticking to a project like this and really getting to work on it like a family. Development of the Lexion was a very long-term investment. We started thinking about the Lexion at the end of the 80s because people were saying the current Dominator series was over 20 years old and it was time for something new. Then I thought up the project name TOP, Technical Added Performance, Organizational Performance and P, Polyvalence Versatility. And this project was presented at a steering committee meeting. Mr. Klaas was there, stood up and said, hmm, not bad, give me the pen. Then he wrote a 20 on my flip chart under the TOP. So gentlemen, do you know what that means? No, 20% more performance. And so the Lexion project was born. In the Lexion, the old type of straw walker system was now replaced by rotors. For class, this was a real change, a new threshing method with even higher productivity. We've adopted a modular concept for the Lexion all the way through. That means a modular combine harvester that could operate either conventionally as a straw walker machine, but also as a hybrid machine with rotary cutting. And also, of course, a significant step into digital electronics. This was a new generation. We made a quantum leap then, compared with a Dominator. 
And at the end of the day, there was also the increased performance. A Dominator 118 threshed 18 tonnes of grain per hour, the Lexion 480 40 tonnes, and we're now increasing the Lexion to 60 to 70 tonnes. When it was launched, our market share in Germany was less than 40%. Over the years, it has risen to 54%, a real success story. The 1995 construction year was just the foundation for a new Lexion era. The inner workings have been changed radically to create further significant increases in performance. For example, the performance of the current Lexion 770 is 30% better than the 480. I once had a colleague who said, when you've been driving a Lexion all day, you get out in the evening feeling like Rambo.